Hey, it's Regis. What's the 411 on your name? You know, that's a pretty cool name, but I think we'll call you this. Dweeb, <laughs> of course. Oh well. But this is my 11th game of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Kids Edition for the PC. Hey, check it out. Here's your $100. And which I want to $517,000. Here we go. Which of these mammals can fly? Raccoon, deer, bat, palm pilot. C, final answer. You're thinking C is styling. Okay. Smooth move, you got it. $100. You're off and running, but that one was pretty easy, wasn't it? Let's see if your $200 question is more of a challenge. Find out. Here's the question. I'm ready. What color is TV's Barney the Dinosaur? Green, blue, purple, pistachio. C, final answer. You're thinking C is styling. Okay. As NWB 1989 calls him, the big purple bastard. <laughs> Which is exactly what he is. Two down, 13 to go. Hey, Pardon no my French. Here, right? $300 coming up. Which of these does the groom usually wear at a wedding? Bathing trunks? Ski boots? Tuxedo? Overalls? C, final answer, tuxedo. Pretty sure that C will do the trick, huh? Absolutely, Regis. I guess you could say that answer was the bomb. You're right. $300. $300. And that'll buy you the video game machine you've always wanted, but you'll need some games too, right? You better check out your $500 question. I've got more than enough games, Regis. I don't need any more. Here we go. Which of these is not a form of precipitation? Lightning, snow, sleet, hail. We'll say A, final answer. Quick to press answer A. All right. You are wicked right. Of course I am. I get the next question right, I'm guaranteed $1,000 and a 12th game. You're $500 richer, but if you can get this next one, you'll double your money. Let's try it. The crime-solving animated TV canine Scooby-Doo is what breed of dog? Collie, Poodle, Dalmatian, Great Dane. He's a Great Dane. Final answer. Hey, answer D looks pretty fly to go, doesn't it? Got it. Smooth move, you got it. And I'm guaranteed a 12th game no matter what happens. I've got myself $1,000 guaranteed and a 12th game guaranteed. $1,000 in the bank. You've got just 10 questions left until we add a lot more zeros to that number. And I'd love to do that, Regis. So here we go for $2,000. In the book, Through the Looking Glass, how are Tweedledee and Tweedledum related? Father and son, second cousins, brothers, uncle and nephew. C, final answer. Ready to commit to answer C already? Good. Nice going, you're right. Two grand, just like that. About to go for four thousand dollars in cash. Two thousand bucks and counting. Now, here comes your four thousand dollar question. Cornbread, colored grains, and black eyed peas are considered what? Indian food, Hungarian food, Mexican food, soul food. D, final answer. Hey, that's a D. Looks pretty fly to go, doesn't it? Got it. Hey, you're right. Now I'm about to go for $8,000, and all the lifelines are still intact. $1,000. Want to make it $8,000? Yep. Just answer this next question. I'll Come try, on. Regis. Eight grand on the line here. Bring it. On the animated TV show Dexter's Laboratory, where is Dexter's lab hidden? Tool shed? Bedroom? Bathroom? Kitchen? Never saw the show, so I'm going to ask the okay, audience. Okay, kid, go ahead. Select a lifeline. Well, let's see what the kids have to say. Ooh, 97% say bedroom. Well, most of them seem to I have no choice but to trust I'm gonna them. I'm going to give you 15 more seconds to come up with a final answer. I'm going to trust them. Banking on the kids in our poll. Fine. Yep. Hey, you're right. All right. 
halfway there. About to go for sixteen thousand dollars. Two lifelines still intact. You really know what's what, don't you? And you're more than halfway there. Let's get back to the action with your sixteen thousand dollar question. Let's do this, Regis. Question. In tennis, a, ba a player who steps on or in front of the baseline while serving commits a what? Let serve, drop shot, foot fault, technical foul. I believe they commit a foot fault, so I'll make that my final answer. Answer C, the way to go, huh? Makes the most sense. Smooth move. Good thing. Got it. $16,000, I get the next question right, I go home with no less than $32,000. You're doing great. If you can keep this up for one more question, you'll reach the second safe haven. Let's get to it. Good. $32,000 coming up. The question is, in the 1999 movie Toy Story 2, a toy collector tries to sell Woody to a museum in what country? Germany? Great Britain? Japan? Or Australia. I believe he tries to sell Woody to a museum in Japan. So I'm going to make C my final answer. Pretty sure that C will do the trick, huh? You're yeah! That's correct. Five away from a million? Two lifelines still intact. $32,000 is yours. You've reached our second safe haven, so you can't walk away with less than that. Now here's a risk-free shot to double your money. Okay, and I still have two lifelines if I need them. Here we go. 19th century industrialists like Andrew Carnegie and John D. Rockefeller were called what? Mugwumps? Robber barons? Muckrakers? Bull moose. I believe they were muckrakers, so that's what I'm going to go with. Final answer. For real? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Ready to commit to answer C already? Good. Oh! Here's what we were looking for. Robber Barons, but I got $32,000 anyway. Brings me up to $549,000. dollars now that's a terrific score. But I know you can't do better if you return for another round of... Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Kids Edition! And a 12th game will be guaranteed when I will do it right after this.